on deck between Hopkins and Osseo, the final game of the 2011-2012 girls basketball season in the state of Minnesota. I'm Chris Long, back with you here on Channel 45, joined by a very special guest, Janet Carvin in Montgomery. We've, you've seen her in just about every one of the little best of montages we've been running throughout the tournament. Thanks for joining us. Three state championships with New York Mills in the late 70s. I want to ask you, what are some of the memories you have to this day of those three runs to state championships? Well, it was really an exciting time for New York Mills. We were in the state championship three times. We also finished with only one loss in those four years where we lost one game and finished with the third place in my senior year. But it was an exciting time for New York Mills. We'd come home for the, for the welcome homes with an eight-mile caravan all the way from Bluffton to New York Mills. We'd go into the gymnasium and have Howard Lund, the founder of Lund Boats, yeah, welcoming us home. And it was really a great time for our community. Small towns are a lot like family. They don't always get along, but they, they stick together, and they, they're a community that comes together in tournaments and tragedies, and people in Mills just still talk about those days. I see you peeking. It's okay. You can look at the highlights. It's some impressive stuff there. You've run some camps for the last 25 years, so you've sort of seen the game grow really right before your eyes from when you've played. How different is it now, and what's different now? Well, a lot has changed. You know, we, we didn't have those fan-shaped backboards like they did back then. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it's been a long time because uh, the New York Mills sign, the 3 state championship sign, is all worn out. It needs to be repaired. It's pretty, um, pretty tattered and torn right now. But, you know, the game has gotten so much more physical. We were a high-powered offense. We didn't have a lot of turnovers. We set a lot of state tournament records that have been broken since the three-point shot and those kinds of things. But at the same time, our fundamentals were really excellent. And I think fundamentals are still the key to great basketball. Coaches like John Wooden still believe in that as well. So I've been running camps for 25 years now, and I take a lot of pride in teaching both girls and boys proper shooting form and, and teaching them how to jump and shoot at the top of their, their jump, too. We're going to see some of your numbers here. Did you feel like a lot of people say, looking back in those early tournaments, you were a pioneer in girls basketball. Did you have any sense then that fast forward to 2012, we'd still be talking about it? Well, I believe then and I believe now that God had a plan and that, that really all of it came together in a beautiful way. We had two coaches who were high school, or college basketball players. We had girls move into our community from other places, California and South Dakota. Kim Salty Aker, I'll always thank you for all those great passes. And uh, it was just a really special time. And you want to say a quick hello uh, to some people watching today? Yes, thank you so much. I do want to say hi to my friend Annie in Cambridge and the family. And I also want to say a big thank you to, to my friend Kim Salty Aker, who gave me all those great passes right here and also say hello to Colleen and Adam in Perm. Um, thanks for all the memories. The legendary Janet Carvin and now Janet Carvin in Montgomery. If you've ever heard of a high school baseball in the state of Minnesota, you know her name. We'll be back after another quick break. We'll have the Class 4A championship between Hopkins